Before we get into today's video guys, please make sure to scroll down, smash that red subscribe button, also make sure to ring that bell icon so you can stay up to date with all my amazing Minecraft videos. Hey guys, welcome back to another video with your main man, Smooth the Mark. And in today's video, I'm going to be running a little experiment between Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java. That's right, guys. And you guys want to know what the experiment's going to be? Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys in on it. So what I have done is I have built nether frames, guys. And I just started off with the small one, the OG one, the one that everybody's probably built and seen. And then I just got bigger and bigger and bigger and gigantic and giganticer with it. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lighting up like the OG one. Then I'm going to be heading over to Java lighting up the OG one. And I'm going to see what the differences are between Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java. It's going to be really cool guys. But I do have to let you guys in on something. I'm running Bedrock and Java right now at the same time on my computer. So hopefully it doesn't blow up. Because then I'll probably never ever be able to play Minecraft again. And that would be really sad. But let's go ahead and get right into this. So right here is the OG nether frame guys. The fur by five. The one everybody knows how to build. And everybody knows how to light. Including everybody's grandma. And their grandpa. And even their family pet. And probably. Even their goldfish. And goldfish are in water. So yeah. Everybody knows how to build this one and light it up. So let's go ahead and let's light it up. Boom! You know something? Even though I have built probably a million of these and probably lit up two million of these, it's still satisfying to do, guys. It really is. It's still satisfying to do. But let's go ahead and let's switch on over to Java and light the OG one up over there. Okay guys, so here we are over on the OG Minecraft, which is Java, and we're lighting up the OG 4x5 Nether Frame. This is so nostalgic for me guys, so let's go ahead and let's light it up. Boom! You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it actually is darker in color over here than it is over on Bedrock. Like, Bedrock's brighter and more vibrant than Java. I always heard about it, and when I'd play the two separate, it's kind of unnoticeable. But, like, playing them at the same time, you definitely do notice that Java is a lot darker, guys. But it still looks cool, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and head back over to Bedrock. Okay guys, so now we're back over on Bedrock. Let's go ahead and light up the 10x10. 10 10. Now this is the one I make now, all the time. Like I don't even mess around with the 4x5. I just make the 10x10 10 10 because you can fly a plane through this nether frame. You know what? That actually kind of rhymes. You can fly a plane through this nether frame. I should make a song about that, guys. I should make a Minecraft song about that. But you know what? Let's go ahead and let's head on over to the Java Edition. Okay, guys, we're back on the Java Edition. Let's go ahead and light up this 10 by 10 nether frame. Boom! You know what? It actually took longer to light. That is crazy, guys. It actually took like a few mer milliseconds. Which, I mean, who's really counting milliseconds? But you know, if like a creeper was behind me and he was about to blow up, and then that took that long to light up and I couldn't get in there, then that could be the difference between life or death. 
So it is something to think about if you are a Minecraft speedrunner because Bedrock does seem to run a little bit faster in my opinion. But let's go ahead, head back over to Bedrock and light up the bigger one. Okay guys, here we are back on Bedrock. Let's go ahead and let's light up this bigger one. 20 by 20. This one is ginormous. So let's go ahead and light it up. And wow, that was instantly, guys. I'm telling you, Bedrock nether frames light up faster than Java ones. Like, as soon as I light up a Bedrock one, it's like that. But Java ones, they're more like... They're slower. Just just a little bit slower, guys. I mean, it's probably not going to make a difference. But, you know what? Let's go ahead and head back over to Java and see exactly how big of a difference it is. Okay, guys. So, here we are back on the Java edition. And we're about to light up the 20 by 20 nether frame. So, let's go ahead and let's do it. Boom! Now, that was a big difference, guys. The time it took for that one to light up was huge so you know what's happening here is the bigger we get on java the slower it takes to ignite the whole thing it's not that way over on bedrock at least it don't seem that way to me so that is a difference there's also a difference in color it's going to be really interesting as we get bigger with these to see you know how long it takes like, it's really going to break away if those big ones light up. I guarantee it, guys. It's going to take forever. So let's go ahead and head back over to the Bedrock Edition and get to lighting the bigger frame. Okay, guys. So here we are on Bedrock Minecraft. And we're about to light up the 23 by 23. Now, if we're going by the book, this should be the biggest we can get with it. So let's go ahead and let's light it. Boom! And see, that's just instant guys that just lights up like instantly i'm telling you the java edition it takes a little while for it to light guys it's almost like there's a little bit of a lag not much i will say not much i mean it's respectable but there definitely is a little bit of a lag but let's go ahead and let's head on over to the java edition and light it up over there Okay, guys, so here we are back on the Java edition. We're going to light up this 23 by 23 frame and see if it lights up quick. Boom. I'm telling you guys, there definitely is because I can see it. It's like all white in here and then it just like lights up. Basically, what's happening is, is when I light it up, the bedrock one, it just instantly, it's like boom and it just lights the whole thing up. This one seems like wherever you hit it, it stretches out. That's what it is. That's what I'm noticing. That's the difference. There's also a difference in color. But if we're going by the Minecraft handbook, 23 by 23 should be the biggest we can get. But you know what? We got to test it out, guys. We got to test it out. So let's go ahead and let's head on over to the Bedrock Edition and see if we can light up the gigantic one. Okay, guys. Here we are over on the Minecraft bedrock one and we're about to try to light up the 50 by 50 nether frame i don't think anything's going to happen because i think the biggest you can get is 23 by 23 but we're still going to see guys so let's go ahead and try to light it up and nothing unfortunately nothing happens let's go ahead and head on over to the java edition and see if anything happens Okay, guys, here we are over on the Java edition of Minecraft. Let's go ahead and see if anything happens when we try to light up the 50 by 50 nether frame. On virtually nothing happens over here, guys. So the only logical thing would be to try to light up the gigantic one over on Bedrock. So let's go ahead and head on over there and try to light it up. Okay, guys, here we are back on Minecraft Bedrock. Let's go ahead and try to light up the gigantic one. This one is 100 by 100, guys. It took me a long time to make it. So let's go ahead. Let's try to light it up. Nothing. Unfortunately, nothing happens when we try to light up the 100 by 100. I really wish Minecraft would update this 
to allow us to light up 100 by 100 ones it would be so cool but let's go ahead head back over to the java edition and see if it'll let us light it up over there okay guys here we are back on the java edition we're going to see if we can light up this 100 by 100 nether frame or if it just does nothing And it does absolutely nothing, guys. I can even jump through it for you guys. Let's see. It just doesn't do anything. I really, really wish Minecraft would update this and allow us to make nether frames or nether portals bigger than 23 by 23, guys. I really do wish they would do that. But until they do, I guess we're stuck with 23 by 23 ones. But I do have to say we did find out a lot about the differences between Nether Frames, between Bedrock and Java Edition. Like the way they differently light because now we know wherever you hit it in Java, it expands out to where Bedrock is just instantaneously. Which is pretty cool to find out guys. And also the color differences are huge. Like, looking at the differences between them. You know what? I'm going to switch back over to Bedrock just so you guys can really soak it in. Okay, guys. Here we are back on Bedrock. And as you guys can see, the color differences are just crazy. Look at how vibrant it looks over here. It almost... It's almost like night and day, to be honest. Like, it is just insane, guys. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I am sorry if it was a little bit sloppy transferring between Bedrock and Java. I have been running them both on my computer, guys. And right now, my fans are picking up, guys. I'm afraid my <laughs> gaming computer is just going to fly off, guys, because the fans are picking up. They are really, really loud right now. Um... So it's getting pretty crazy, guys. I think my computer's on the brink of probably falling over. <laughs> but let me know if you guys want to see any other videos, any other comparisons between Bedrock and Java, maybe. Like, we could take a deep dive and uh, analyze the differences between, like, ocean monuments between the two, or maybe, like creepers or mobs or something between bedrock and java definitely give me some ideas of what you guys want to see down in the comment section below and as always guys if you enjoyed this video which i know you guys did please make sure to like comment and most importantly smash that red subscribe button until next time thanks for watching guys bye